So when it sounds kind of like, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. Well, it's because the singing's kind of... You know, it's fast. I like that riff. Sounds more funky, you know. And, uh, well, it's just uh, everyone can relate to that. Everyone falls in love and out of love. Right. <coughs> so, yeah, what else can I say about it? Whatever, I mean, that's all it is. It's, it's uh, right. I, I really like that song because uh, it really makes the drum shine, I think. You know, it's a lot more. Like that kind of pissed me off with the first record that there wasn't enough drums. Uh huh. You know, I guess that'd be too cool. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but this album, you know, there's a lot more spots where the bass and the drums are spotlighted mm -hmm. as opposed to the guitar. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's one of the songs where the drumming I think is real good. <clears throat> the second one is uh, Somebody Get Me a Doctor. To me, a doctor. Which everyone again can relate to. <laughs> Which one was that? Uh, it's the one. It's the one. That one was written around the same time as Running with the Devil. Really? Yeah. It was, uh, you know, it was an old favorite of ours, and people used to follow us around before we went back to that. But, uh, <coughs> you know, we write all songs, we sift through them all with Ted, and, you know, we pick out what we want to do and one out of the four of them I say hey let's do this one the other guys go nah I want to try this one so that one didn't make the first record <laughs> what oh, is, is, that, is that the one that Ted said wouldn't fit in the first record yeah or somebody in the band so I won't say that one for the next album you know there's a couple other songs too one called Big Trouble that it's kind of neat is that on, on this album no we were going to put it on but then we thought nah, I might as well save it it's got a lot of neat changes in it Yeah. It's a neat song. Get good saying that. Somebody get me a doctor is, uh, you know, about being high and feeling good. <laughs> Stuff like that. ODing. <laughs> or whatever. <clears throat> um, what's the next one? If the cat bothers you, just throw them away. Oh, no. Just throw them away. Uh, so we think that, okay. The next one is... Uh, Women in Love. That's a trippy one. <laughs> but, I mean, if you follow the lyrics, you can look at it two ways, kind of. It's like a guy was going out with a chick, and as opposed to the conventional way of losing a chick to a guy, he loses his chick because his chick runs off with another chick. <laughs> you know, women in love. But, you know, if you're not listening carefully, it sounds like woman in love, you know, just uh -huh. a chick running off with another guy. But it's, you know, a little extra twist to it because it's a chick leaving a guy for another chick as opposed to a guy. Which one is that? Uh, that's the one where you didn't hear the intro that has the harmonics for the intro. Uh huh. Right. The, the harmonics in that, the intro, I really like that. It's, it sounds different. And I double track it too, so it, it kind of gets, you know, what Harmonizer does. Uh huh. You know, it kind of sounds like I used a Harmonizer, but I didn't. All I did was double it with a, you know, I, I actually I used a Strat on that too. Uh huh. A regular Strat. It sounds real neat. That's the only, that's the only other guitar I used was a, I have a, uh, I put it together myself. I got three different, I got a Tele pickup in the back. Uh, so, you know, Fat Strat, something else and I picked up. And I just had a junk body laying around. I threw it together in like a day. <laughs> and I, I had a Dan Electro neck that I put on it. Have really? you seen those? Yeah. Dan Electro neck. I only use it for one part. So, I, you know, for a quiet little intro. So the band of the guitar is too ballsy sounding mm -hmm. to play quiet and clean. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just about it for that one. Uh, the next one is the cover song, You Know Good. Which to me has uh, it doesn't sound at all like the original, or I've never actually heard the original. <laughs> when the Ronstadt didn't write write no. the song, I guess it was uh, Holland Dozier Holland. Probably one of theirs, yeah. Three guys that used to write for uh, Motown. Motown, yeah. And uh, it's a great song, I think. How did you guys pick it? 
I mean, were there were there a few cover th songs you were maybe thinking about? Um, Ted suggested it, or he asked us, "What, what do you got? How do you guys feel about doing another cover song?" We're going, you know, if the song's right and if it fits our style, if we can arrange it to fit our style, then uh, we'll do it. And uh, we're all thinking, "Oh, what can we do?" Oh, well, don't worry about it. If something pops up, we'll do it. If not, we got plenty of songs to pick from. But it would be nice to have a cover song, and. Uh, so he says, hey, I'm like, you're no good. And I said, ah, oh, what a trip. We used to do that song playing at Gazzari's. Really? Only we did it like the record. Uh -huh. We didn't do it our own way. And then uh, Ted goes, we'll play it. And I go, God, I don't know how it goes. <laughs> you know? And I just started noodling around, and that's how it came about. You know, it wasn't at all like, we never even listened to the record. It's just I kind of remember the changes. And because I didn't listen to the record, it didn't sound the mm -hmm. same. You know, I just kind of thought back about the basics of the song and that's right. how it ended up much more basic than you know okay that's van allen man basics <laughs> and it, sound, you know, it sounds good that way to me he needs all that extra garbage so we'd maybe pull it off live anyway mm -hmm. you know. <clears throat> that, that's the main reason why we don't do a lot of overdubs is it sure <clears throat> like if i if i do something that's like the main part of the song is an overdub, and I can't do it live, people are going to miss it. They're going to go, hey, I'm so <laughs> Well, you know, it's true. Yeah, I know. So, we, you know, when we do do overdubs, the real subtle little things that just enhance the sound as opposed to being in a real melodic main thing or mm -hmm. something. You know, but, you know it's depend on the rhythm section, guitar for solos, and singing for melodies. Um, you're not good. Except for that. After that is uh, Bottoms Up, which is a proven song. Because we we must have, in 10 months we've played, in 6 months of it at least, we played it every night for our encore song. And uh, everywhere from Japan to Texas, they love it. You know, and it's. Uh, which one is that? Uh, the Buggy. You know, the one that. I think you can solo now too. I kind of like it. For a boogie, cause I, I personally I hate soloing to boogies. Really? Yeah, it's just such a weird beat that mm -hmm. you know it doesn't really fit my style that well. You know, it's a, I like to noodle out of the rhythm as mm -hmm. opposed to ticka 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 ticka. You mm -hmm. know, playing in beat. So I was pretty happy with it because it was kind of you know it had more feeling to it than just going ticka 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 ticka. You know, All right. stuff like that. And. Uh, See bottoms up. What's that? Oh yeah, light up the sky. That's my favorite. Is it? 